Ladies and gentlemen, Cool of Teroth has just released, and I just completed my first siege with a bunch of viewers in our squad, and holy crap, is her armor amazing. This is a game-changing level armor. It is absolutely the best armor in the game right now, and without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Now, if you don't know how to find Cool of Teroth or want to know more about the siege, feel free to check the cards in the top right corner or a link in the description. But let's see this armor, shall we? Oh my god, hurry up. Forge equipment. There we go. Uh, our, not weapons. Armor. Alright, so the Cool of Tarot armor will be down at the bottom. Now we can tell here that it is rarity 8 and base defense of 72. So it's already better. Let's go ahead and equip the alpha armor on the female. Oh, look at that dress. I actually really like that. Oh man. Let's check out the beta armor real quick. Alright, I definitely like the alpha armor. Oh! The, the beta armor has those evil horns. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and check out the stats, then we'll check out the colorization options. So, for the skills, for the entire alpha set, we've got attack boost level 3, free ammo elemental up level 3, which is amazing, stun resistance level 2, critical boost level 2, power prolonger level 2, handicraft 2, agitator 2, peak performance 2, wide range 2, and special ammo boost 2? What the hell? literally every best skill in the game on one set and the best thing about it is the alpha armor even has jewel slots so we've got um basically uh five one slot uh one yeah basically level one jewel slots so that is crazy so on the helmet we've got free elm uh free ammo elemental up level one agitator level two then on the chest we've got stun resistance level two and crit boost level two which is just amazing this is ridiculously good i mean not getting stunned and having 10 percent more crits or crit damage that's just insane then we've got the cool tear out the rage alpha with the free ammo up and uh elemental ammo up with power prolonger on here what the hell that's just insane and we've got another level of so we've actually got yeah okay that's where the three three levels come from then we've got handicraft two and free ammo up on that's kind of a waste i feel like on the on the waist, but the handicraft level 2 is pretty good. Then we've got wide range level 2 and peak performance 2 <laughs> on here, which is going to be really good for some support builds. That would be insane. So, cool tear off alpha. Then the beta. This is where shit gets crazy. You thought the alpha was good? Just wait for the beta. So let's go ahead and equip the entire set and check out the stats here. So we've got attack boost level 3, Free ammo up level 3 still, stun resistance 3, wide range 2, crit boost 1, power prolonger 1, handicraft 1, agitator 1, peak performance, and special ammo boost 1. So, really good. So as you can see, it still has all the same skills, but just at a lower level for the secondary skill on the armor. But what's really nice is the sockets on this. This has so many freaking jewel sockets, it's insane. So the cool of tear off alpha or beta helm has a two slot and a one slot with agitator and free ammo which is crazy then we've got a three slot and a one slot jewel with stun resistance and crit boost on the chest and then we've got for the bracers another three slot jewel with a one with power prolonger and free ammo up as well then on the waist we've got another three slot jewel slot with a one slot with free ammo and handicraft and then on the boots we've got wide range and peak performance one with another two slot and one slot. So this is just ridiculous. It's incredibly customizable. I noticed that here we need Valhazak gems. So that's interesting. We need a Cool Terath Golden Gr uh, Glimstone for all the other pieces except for the chest. So we need a Xenojiva gem and a Nergigante gem for the helm. So pretty interesting. It's very, very item intensive. So you're going to have to farm this up a lot as well as some other creatures. But it is crazy good. So let's go ahead and go and see what's customizable for it, for the colors. So change all weapons and we change it to white. Oh, so it kind of just changes the look of the golden armor. I wish I could get up a little bit closer. So if we change it to black, change... Okay, so it just makes it darker a little bit. So it really doesn't change much on here. There we go. So blue, I think white kind of looked the best. I just really like the way it looks. Kind of looks like a white gold, obviously. So yeah, that doesn't change all that. Ooh, pink. There we go. Mmm, sexy lady. I need to change back to a male. I changed my character to a female for to showcase the 
the free voucher, and they never released the paid one, which is kind of unfortunate. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Let's see what the alpha armor looks like. Oh, I just shaved it all, didn't I? Oops. Okay, no, go back. Uh, there we go. See what this looks like. Change all. We'll do white. Ooh, that looks terrible. Black. So, you can barely tell the differences in colors with this particular one. I don't have the rainbow pigment. I think I need to do, like, two more quests. I just need to really knock it out. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, there's, like, no, almost no change. It's very, very subtle. But not least, the Palico armor. Ooh, the fan. So, melee damage is 60. Ranged is 50. Uh, with blunts, element, none, and defense bonus plus 30. So, let's go ahead and equip that. Then, for the, and the feline cold fur, we need a golden shell. <laughs> Looks like a little stupid lion. Oh, it's ridiculous looking. Oh my goodness. So, Cool of Terath Golden Scale, which I already have for that. I don't know if I'm going to craft this first. I usually pimp out the Palico first, but the defense on here isn't really any better than... It's not better than the Xeno set, really. And the weapon isn't particularly great either. So, I'm probably not going to worry about pimping her out with this first. I want to get the armor first and make some builds, obviously. And then I'll go ahead and go with the Palico set next. Anyways, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed the video. That is the Cool of Teroth armor. Once I start unlocking the weapons, I will be showcasing all of those as well. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this particular DLC. I'll be making a bunch of builds to help out with breaking parts and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned for all things to come Monster Hunter World. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. It's a quick one, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!